Gebs in ready and they racing away from that 1400 meter marker. Pirates Bounty inside, jump got out uh, fairly well. Hazelwood is right there with him in the early part. For your eyes only there in the Gavis handy, just a few lengths off that leader. Being followed by Set Fire to the Rain in the blue. There's racing about four or five lengths from that leader. Weather Report, Ladies Desire runs behind that lot. Conservationist Day 7, 8 lengths off that leader now. Being followed by Matilda's Love, who's further back in the field. Eyes runs behind that. Sporty Dolls also further back. Aries is racing there 12, 13 lengths from the leaders now as they start their way through towards the turn with about 800 to go. For your eyes only is in front, leads the way. From in second, Hazelwood and Agev is back in third. Then we go back to Ice Harvest who runs behind that set fire to the rain in the blue cap. Pirates Bounties on their inside. Ladies Desire, seven off the leader. Conservationist on the inside. They travel to the 400 meter marker now for your eyes only, leads the way. Nagev looks to tighten up now and just about hits the front, does Nagev with 300 to go. Set fire to the rain, runs behind those. Ladies Desire further back, weather report, but it's Negev as they come to the 200 metre mark. Conservationist is on the far inside. Then Ladies Desire further back, Negev the leader. Conservationist looking to come out after the leader, but it's still Negev in front. And Negev's going all the way. Negev will produce today, wins by three lengths. Conservationist behind that. Then Ladies Desire further back and set fire to the rain. Here was all, so get your money on today. No doubt about it, the 13 and the GEF, especially when uh, Cape Town was cancelled and uh, Stryker managed to get up here. You never left, you never went to Cape Town, did you? No money, yes. we were uh, SMS in, in, yes, while I was in bed. Uh, Olivia kept us in, in the picture. Uh, and eventually, you know, he gave me the signal, he said, no, no, it's, you know, so obviously he put me on his two horses and yeah. uh, trying to get one or two rides that I thought I was going to ride today in any case. Yeah. But uh, so many to get onto four. And anyway, onto four races today. Or oh, this filly, she looks like to have a great future now because she's won in good style. She did, Molly. Um, I must be honest. To me, she's still very green. Uh, going down to the start uh, uh, in the race itself, she's, even even though she's there and travelling, you can still feel like she, she's looking for company. Um, I mean, she cooking up really well. And then obviously with his headwind. Uh, uh, you know, she had to sort of uh, peter out a little bit at the end, but she still won it comfortably. And uh, I think with normal improvement, uh, this filly could, could definitely win a good couple of races. Yeah, and uh, you, the draw, you were over that straight away quickly. Yeah, the, I looked at a lot of horses on my inside were first-timers, and uh, I see they've been slow away, so she, she jumped very quick out the pens, and uh, she overcame the draw very easily. Lovely. Are we going to see you again today? Um, only I've got three more left. Uh, McLean, uh, she's obviously better off at the weight, uh, so she could, should be close to Lady Beatrix, uh, but she always hangs badly, she's got her problems. And then uh, Money Flies, he's probably in a tough race. I, like, I think Changing Moon is the horse to beat there, and, uh, but uh, he should be in the first three, I think. And then uh, I picked up the Philly uh, uh, legal account. Uh, she's drawn wide, there's no pace in the race, so... I'm not sure how it's going to uh, suit her, but uh, there's a headwind and maybe we can get going late. Good, get in the PA. We got in the PA, please. Good, get good few, right. Molly. Okay. Thank you. Big Lou. Thanks, well, you're going to have a huge team, weren't you, down at uh, Kenilworth? Um, yeah, well, we were, we were on our way then. We stayed back here and, and we changed. You know, compliments to Chase Mojan. Does all the work yeah. uh, at home and uh, not a long face. You know, he understands the situation. We couldn't race there and he, he gladly gave up his ride. Um, on this filly, I, I must say, all the owners are here, so I'm, I'm going to thank them. Um, to Mickey Goss, the numbers game, Mickey, remember the whole page deal we had, Sporting Post, that you paying for? Just Mickey Goss. Yeah. You know, this is Negev. Uh, she's, yeah. she's aimed at the cup. Um, uh, uh, Devarate's already won. We bought five horses yeah. last year. We bought Way West Goddess, one horse. We bought uh, Tony Stipple, one horse. And last year, five horses. Three out of the five have already won. I think Brother in Arms should win soon and one unraced. So, Mickey Goss, the ratios are there. I did a deal with him. Yeah. If I win with all five before the cup, he's got to pay for me for a full page ad in the in Sporting Post. Sporting Post, Post which yeah. probably doesn't come uh, that cheap. But now, she's by Stronghold who's by Dane Hill. So uh, she has had an Irish mare here. Lovely breeding. Absolutely. Look, she's a half-sister to Extra Zero, Sean's yeah. Philly Extra Zero. Uh, I don't easily pay over 300,000 for us. And Michael Azzi, I said to him, I'll mention this when she wins. I told him last week at the sale down in Cape Town. He was sitting there and he said, Lou, you've come all the way to 300,000, which was your limit. Yeah. You, you believe in this filly. Don't lose her. Okay. So I went to the 330. But she's by Stronghold. I, I just think Stronghold will be throw you a slightly bigger type horse than Way Wested and, and maybe a little bit more stamina. That's the feeling I've got. Have you been busy at the sale? Not this one, Molly. I'm, I'm putting it all there's two ready to run sales this year, and that's where I'm putting my Sorry. focus, but I will be there tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, right, guys, come on, let's have you. You've got a whole team here. 
Come on, I want everybody here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now that's uh, wonderful. Right? Absolutely. I have to thank Louis and Lauren, Vic, all the grooms, Chase for allowing Pierre to ride. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure he'll ride many other winners. It was a fantastic run. And then you saw Comnides fully in front. Then you saw Stryker ranging up with a double handful. How did you feel, sir? Great. I went berserk. Yeah, went berserk. But I would, I would want to put a message out here. That's why I've come up here. I just want to say a few words about Louis Horsen. It's a new season. New owners are coming into the game. Old ones are going out. Please don't go out. Give this man a chance. He's so dedicated. He sacrifices so much for his patrons. You will get so much pleasure of taking and giving this man a horse and trying him. Absolutely. We've got a sale that is on tomorrow. Please, folks, give him a horse. Give him a chance. Do you Okay, those sentiments, sir? Uh, look, Dave, again, I mean, just a privilege to be able to have a winner. Yeah. And uh, obviously, thanks to all the hard work the team puts in, Vic, Lauren, Louis, and all the grooms, everybody. And, and also, just to chase, you know, he did the work. Yeah. He, he willingly got off the horse when Pierre didn't go to Cape Town. And it's, it's all about team, so it's a great win. And, and nice to have my wife here when we have a winner as well. Lovely. Well played. Thanks very much indeed. And there's your prize from the RA. So, results, uh, popular uh, results here for the punters in race number three. One by the 13, Nagaf, second home, the three uh, conservationists, then came the one ladies' desire, and fourth to the eight, uh, Rod's horse set fire to the train.